The summer travel season is off to a rough start as we take a live look here uh, downtown San Diego towards the International Airport there. Another 1,000 flights were canceled nationwide today as issues continue to pile up this Memorial Day weekend. And thousands of delays on top of that. Fox 5's Alani Latang is live at the airport with what passengers are dealing with. Alani. Jason Misha, as you can imagine, having your flight canceled or delayed, it's just frustrating for passengers. And that's what they're telling us here is having to plan a trip, having it all planned out, then having a disruption could mean everything else in that trip is getting impacted. By the time that they actually tell you the flight's delayed, you're already in the Uber on the way to the airport, and then you're there, and then it's delayed and delayed and delayed again. Andrew Cunningham is visiting from Calgary. He came on a WestJet Airlines flight that got delayed by five hours. We had things booked and all that kind of stuff, and now those are gone and no reimbursement. But that's not it. Andrew says WestJet hit him with another disruption. And it was like, oh, also we've had to change your flight, so now you're coming back on Thursday. Other international travelers, Jalen May and Amity Solis, also juggling disruptions. They're on their way to the Philippines, but ran into COVID restrictions. They say their American Airlines flight from California to their layover in Japan didn't allow them on because they had a 16-hour overnight layover in the U.S. They say that type of layover is not allowed for entry into Japan. Right now, we're calling our agency and wondering how we're going to get to the Philippines, but as of right now, we're looking at a three-day travel trip. Traveling that's eating away at their special 10-day trip. Our grandpa here, he's 73 years old. It's like a family reunion. He hasn't been back to the Philippines in such a long time, and so this is just really important to us. Unfortunately, travel disruptions are still happening because of just this resurgence in travel. Doug Shoup with AAA's Auto Club Southern California forecast that 3 million Americans will travel by plane this Memorial Day weekend, including 320,000 Southern Californians. The travel industry is working as hard as it can to make things smooth for passengers and for travelers. We just remind everybody to have patience when you're at the airport. An only option for many travelers. Did they tell you why it was delayed? Uh, what was it? It was or organizational issues, something uh, very, yeah, just so you really have no idea. And one of the airlines, American Airlines, had 62 cancellations today and 539 delays. They told us those are largely due to inclement weather in Miami. And some tips from AAA to sort of uh, navigate these travel disruptions. Look into travel insurance. Consider getting a travel advisor. And, of course, book early. Don't wait. Reporting live at the airport, Alani Latang, Fox 5 News. All right.